East Boston is home to the first public library established in the U.S. The issue now is many alcoholics and homeless people use the perimeter of this vacant library as a place to loiter and drink. It shouldn't be fenced off and isolated. My name is Brian Madrigal and I am a student and resident here at East Boston. This historical landmark behind me is the first community supported branch library in the USA. It is now vacant here left alone and that is not how we want to remember this historical landmark. I want to preserve it in a way that supports the youth of our city. This empty library can become a youth and cultural center where students across the city of Boston share culture through arts, music, and history. There will be art shows and events that will be produced and organized by the youth, here to be shown and displayed to the community. Talking about East Boston, there's a lot of opportunities to do wrong. So places like Zoomix and other arts um, organizations take kids away from that. I could have been out doing God knows what with God knows who, but instead I'm uh, working towards a goal and working to have fun and enjoying it with people that are there to help you in what you love to do. Just imagine how many kids walk through Meridian Street and witness the old library being used in a negative way. This building is within a 15 minute walk distance of four schools. Since the building is in a perfect location and shows rich history of our country, we can use the space to create a youth art multicultural center. The facility will provide art workshops, student art gallery showings, multimedia production workshops in graphic design, video production, and animation. Film festivals will be held here, as well as community events, and a tutoring space for the kids. It could become another resource available to middle and high school teachers who want to continue the learning experience beyond the classroom but I think it would be perfect for the community. If we look around to JP, Urbano's got a nice space. If you look to South Boston, uh, they have Artists for Humanity. And those things grew from, from a little thing. Zoomix right here in East Boston is for music and performing, but it was just someone's idea that sparked it. They didn't even have a million dollars for those places. It will encourage members of our community to embrace people from different ages and cultures. Is it's like I feel like anything that we can do to enrich our communities to make it a better place for the people that live there is gonna make it better for everyone. So to say, I think that it really has to deal with giving the people in this neighborhood a place to go, a place to stay, a, options, right? You give people options, they make choices, and those choices affect their lives. But anything that can help enrich people and teach people about themselves and about where they come from or about where they're at, I think only makes the neighborhood a better place. I feel like there's like a lot of different places and museums that I can go to and see other people's amazing artwork. But for me, being young and not actually like professional, there's nowhere where I can display my own artwork and talk about it with other people, talk about our own artwork and our own cultures and how we got our, our ideas. It can become a symbol of diversity and unity. Italian. Salvadorian. Irish. Puerto Rican. Dominican. Salvadorian. Mexico, Colombia, Algeria, East Boston, 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 East Boston. East Boston. East Boston.